Hey Sefix, you just released your new track Dystopia. Can you tell us a little more about what makes this track special to you? Uh, yeah, it's a little bit more of a, a harder track. I think uh, the kicks are a little bit harder than any other track that I've ever done before. I uh, completely reworked uh, my kicks and my sounds to put this in a new jacket. And of course I have added a lot more guitar uh, into this song. I think this time it has like even more guitar than any other song. Okay, nice. So that's your trademark. Uh, you also created your video clip. How did you do this and what was the thought behind it? Um, yeah, I, I started learning uh, like Blender and Unreal Engine uh, during the pandemic. And for all of my art of creation uh, releases, I have already uh, created my video clips. Um, the thought behind this one was to, to make this. I mean, it's, it's obviously about dystopia. Um, so the thought was to to take something that I had already created. I sort of made the world dystopian. You built your story upon your uh, former track and the theme is a little bit the same or not? Yeah, it's sort of like uh, video wise. It's the continuation of my other track Meaningful. Exactly. Um, so basically it happens after meaningful and the world gets destroyed and uh, now they live in a dystopian world. Ah, that's nice. So it's a continuation of stories. Yeah. Uh, like you said, you used a lot of guitar again. Um, we will see this more of you in the future. Yeah, I mean, I've been developing a lot of guitar on previous releases and I've been implementing it more and more in every track because it's also really what I love and I think it, it's something that hasn't been done before a lot and uh, I think those two styles blend really well together so uh, I keep on experimenting with adding more and more guitar and I love playing guitar so I love to edit yeah. th that sound in, in my songs. Yeah you already play guitar for a long time you started playing guitar when you were young is that right? Yeah I started playing guitar when I was uh, eight years old. Um, nice. On and off I haven't been like practicing guitar all the time but uh, I just recently, uh, for a couple of years, I've been trying to include it more and more in my production. Hey, you recently switched producing from FL Studio to Ableton. Why did you do this and uh, how was this process to you? I saw uh, uh, Ableton when I started working on a collab with Headhunters. Uh, he, has been, he had been producing in Ableton for, for a bit and I saw his process in the studio and I really wanted to give it a go because it looked very uh, smooth and it's like uh, how he was like dragging stuff into the projects and stuff like that. It looked very quick and very useful. So um, I thought I would give it a try. And uh, honestly, it's been like really good to me. It took me a little bit, like it took me a while to uh, get used to it because it's a completely different workflow. But in the end, um, I think it made my production quality better and also uh, it's much easier to to drag stuff into new projects to save stuff to like if you have like a melody uh, and like it lay it, it consists of like four layers with all different synths you you can literally grab it save it and then drag it into another project so the the entire workflow is just really nice Back to the track Dystopia, where did you get your inspiration uh, from for this track? Um, I heard the vocals and and they were like very dark already and I loved this dark dystopian vibe and I was like that goes really well together with like a bit mo of modern metal. Uh, I already had the idea of combining like a bit harder metal with uh, a bit harder hard style because i think those two go better together than like if you take for instance uh hard metal with euphoric hearts that like really euphoric it's a little bit too much so i think the the blend with like the harder hard style and the metal uh, goes really well together so lately i've been listening to a lot of uh, i prevail 
uh, Memphis May Fire and Breaking Benjamin and stuff like that. And I really wanted to create sort of like that vibe together with Heartstyle. And I think that uh, you can see that back in Dystopia. Does that mean that there is a kind of new turning point in your uh, approach of making Heartstyle? Uh, yeah, I mean, I've been sort of completely redeveloping my sound over the past months. Uh, ever since I started working in uh, Ableton, uh, I wanted to tackle things in a different way. I wanted to tackle things, how I make my kicks in different ways, how I make my leads in different ways, and also how to blend styles with my guitar a bit better than before. So I really think that's like, it is a turning point. Uh, for working on future music. On to the end of You've performed Dystopia for the first time live at DEF CON, played your guitar there live. How was that on stage for you? Uh, it was a challenge, It was, but it was a fun challenge. I mean, uh, I definitely, uh, it took a long time to realize because I wanted to, to do something special for DEF CON uh, and I wanted to, to perform my song, lo songs live with the guitar. Um, so I created like an entirely new concept and I wanted to premiere that live. Uh, but uh, in the end, it went really well. Uh, it was a lot of fun to, to do. And yeah, I, we will potentially see this more in the future. Okay. Um, have you got any more releases planned this year? Uh, yeah, I mean, next month I'm already releasing a brand new track. Uh, this one is going to be a little bit more euphoric and melodic, uh, but still with like uh, updated and new suffix kicks. Uh, and the month after that, I will release a follow-up for Meaningful, also with Nino vocals. Um, so I'm very excited for those releases. Okay, that's nice. Well, thank you for your time. Best of luck to you in the future. All right, thanks for having me.